I had to put it in one sentence, it wouldn't be why do I want music. It's I need it. You know, it's my it's my breath of life. It's my air. It's it's everything that I need to survive. Without music, I'm dead. You know what I mean? It's all I know. It's literally all I know. Power and influence of music is basically limitless. It's our most powerful vein that we have to communicate with each other as human beings. Music is a getaway. It's uh, a way to kind of reflect on any kind of opinion, whether it be politics, whether it be love. It just takes you to another place, for, makes you forget about you know, everything that's been going on. Just, just sit there to clear your mind and just appreciate what's on the air. Music means to me, it's that breath of life. It, it's, it's that, um, that heartbeat of music. It's that, it's your footsteps to life, that's what I call it. It's the beginning process of everything for me, for everyone else. My name is Kaipo Kapua. My overall goal is just to be heard worldwide. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. All right, it's Sunday 98.5. Fat Joe here on this Aloha Thursday. Right now, let's bust out some music for my boy, Kaipo. Well, with Kaipo, you can tell he's passionate about his work, about his music. You can tell by his expressions, how he sings his songs, how much he loves music. And you know, he's, he's a real passionate guy and I, I appreciate that of him. Hypo is definitely a diamond in the rough. Look, 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 that's my grandson. Oh, auntie, what CD is that? Come, 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 that's my grandson. <laughs> These neighbors, they think I'm crazy, but I don't know. That's my grandson, so I put it up loud. If it's my husband, he can be in the car. As soon as he song come out, I reach in the front, I'm turning it. That's too loud. I said, never mind. This kid is just an animal. I don't know how, how to describe him. Um, he takes music to another level. Uh, he doesn't settle. So, you know, if, for him to sing anything, whether it's a Hawaiian song or an R&B song or, you know, one of his original songs, whatever it is, he just has one of those voices that is just so beautiful that you just want to hear him sing anything. You don't have to tell me Cause I already know I mean, anything he touches, anything he does, whether it be from dance to rap to, to singing to playing instruments, the man has got it all. Music, all in all, is my passion. Music heals everything, everything, which is why I'm sticking with it. I ain't going nowhere. My brother right above me was actually my musical influence. So the day I seen him on stage playing his first gig, that's when I knew. I was like, I think this is really what I want to do. Yeah, my brother Khalil, um, I really, really looked up to him. You know, I had to learn by watching and kind of watching him go. Um, I learned everything. I learned vocals. I learned how to read music. They all used to play together when we had parties. They all played together. You know. That was our free music. They're good and all playing together. Um, I grew up around choir. I was always stuck with choir classes in elementary, intermediate, and even in high school. Oh yeah, you can see it, because in school, when he was in school, he would sing. He always had a mic in his hand, and he would dance, you know, he was really good. He started young, Kaipo started young. I can hear him in the night, when there's no one around. From the beginning, he was just a little kid. This is where it was, right here in this, we used to hang out in this hallway, and I used to bring my ukulele for hours making beats on the table and I'd always, always get in trouble. 
but it was worth it. It's so worth it. Did I believe I hurt you so cause I care too much to ever let you go? I wasn't a bad kid. Followed along with the wrong group of kids. I had a pretty good life. My mom worked really, really hard, you know, to get us where we're at, but it was tough. It was tough growing up. They had a hard life. Hardly, they never had their dad, and then hardly had their mom. So, I mean, they had their mom, but they had an alcoholic mom. My mom was always working, you know, she'd leave about 10 o'clock in the morning, and she wouldn't come back home to 3 in the morning. She was working at a bar at the time. I'm not going to say it was easy. It was hard growing up, you know. I, a, it was a bad part of my life, but I very humbled by it, you know. I did what I had to do, what was necessary for me to make money, to put clothes on my back, to, to eat. I hustled to get where I'm at today, you know. Music is a big part of my life. It's the reason why I'm here today. I was doing music full time for about four years, and I stopped, and I gave up on music. I just got sick and tired of it, you know, and I gave up on music. At one point, I, I went to a deep depression. Um, I, I really thought that uh, this music thing was never gonna happen. It sucked. It's depressing, you know. I went through a alcohol and drug phase, you know. Um, it was ugly. That's when I was getting in trouble with the law, you know. I, it's it's not where people want to be. Every time I stayed away from it, I always had a friend that's like, hey, I got a gig, I need, a, I need you to play drums. So it kept me there, which was a sign that this is what I need to be doing, you know? Because he expresses feelings on music. So he always needs music. He can try and leave music, but I don't think it's gonna work. I'm, I'm happy that I got out so quickly, you know? I changed my whole life around. He just gotta take one day at a time and go forward. You know, that's all I pray for him every day. It's just one day at a time, stay safe and go forward. Music can be your uplift in life, you know. When you're down, don't ever stay down. Always try to find that, that something or someone to lift you up. And music can be that biggest thing. Tying lyric to melody is so powerful that I think you have a responsibility when you are representing that because you can change a person's mood, you can change their life path, you can save their life. It's shaped me into a better person, you know? When I'm stressed, I don't go out looking for trouble. I go straight to the pen and paper, I put on the earphones and I just go straight to work, you know? So I make sure that I'll never go down that road again and to, to stay positive and to stay focused in life with especially with this music thing because this is my this is my turning point this is my outlet right now I'm, I'm not going to stop at all until i get where i need to be i want everybody to, to feel like when they come and see a kaipo show I'm, it's just me and them in a room but the biggest show that really launched me as an artist was when I played at Waikiki Shell, but it was a big accomplishment for me. I lived in Salt Lake, in H Building, coming from nothing to get that far, you know, and it's, 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 still, it's still getting there. I think that the potential for Kaipo is, is limitless and it's just all depending on how far he wants to go. And how so I make sure that every show that I do, I give them a reason to become a fan, you know. If I didn't leave the stage sweating, or I didn't lose my voice, I didn't do my job. I, I think he's done a great job here in Hawaii, um, as far as, you know, being out there performing. And somebody like that, with that kind of talent, deserves to be nationally known, world known. If there's anybody that's going to do big things out of the 808, that has the talent and capability and the drive to do so, Kaipo Kapoor is one of them. He's taking it way beyond Hawaii. Hawaii music, if you think about it, it'll always be in Hawaii. You know, but it's, it's up to that person or that artist to actually make a move, do something, make a move, you know, which I'm trying to do right now. I think that it's very necessary for us to leave our island but always carry it with us. It's very important that we don't lose sight of who we are. Always staying true to myself, that's the biggest thing, because once you lose that, you lose everything. 
I, I know Kaipo personally and he loves where he's from. A true local boy who loves his island, who loves his music from Hawaii, he would not think twice to tell anybody where he's from. Always remember where you're from. You gotta stay rooted, you know? Regardless of where you come from, but because we come from such a special, magical, unique place, taking that with us gives us that edge within the market because you do become a small fish in a huge pond. I think that's more than half the reason why people listen to Hawaiian music is because of that Aloha Spirit message in the background. In Hawaii, I think that our culture is very much grounded and rooted in music. They express who they are and what we are as a culture. When you do get together at any kind of family function, there's always that one uncle that comes with the guitar and sits down and kind of what we say, Connie Kapila back then. And uh, I think yeah, your ear just kind of catches it from then and then you just kind of develop as you grow up. I think that's what makes Hawaii music so special because it's so involved in the life, the lifestyle, um, because Musicians these days in the 808 are uh, typically just involving the Hawaii lifestyle. I think that's what makes music so popular here in the state. It'd be nice to expose it out there to the world so other people can to feel our passion, what we love, and how it, uh, it tells our story as local people. And that's what a lot of our local artists is doing. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring the mainland to us. Instead of Hawaii people trying to fly to the mainland to do music, I don't want to leave Hawaii. Even though I do, I, I, I have to, I know I do. It only goes so far here in the islands, we want to take it worldwide. We're finally um, spreading our roots, but I think we have a long way to go for sure, because a lot of people just are totally unaware that we're creating such amazing music from here. There's no better feeling than going across the world and just seeing people that you never met in your life singing back words that you took the time to write. Uh, the journey is what really makes you who you are. And without the sacrifice, I don't think that I would truly be able to create the music that I create and to be proud to stand up on a stage and know that I did put in the work. It's a hard job, it's a hard career, but if you're really passionate about it, you're gonna go by any means. He loves music and he loves to play music and he loves to entertain. So I'm hoping that, you know, he can go forward and do what he loves to do. Show everybody who's Kaipo Kapua. That's my biggest goal, is to take Hawaii, attach it to my back, and take it wherever I go. I, I'm hoping that in the end, all the sacrifice is worth it. If it wasn't, at least I can say I went out there and I tried, you know? Because I always got Hawaii to fall back on. Music in, in general, it, it touches people, that's why makes you forget about things and anything that can take you away from reality and just put you in a, a good state of mind. You can just have the freedom to express yourself. My life without music would be more secluded. I don't even know what I would be doing if I didn't have music. I don't know who I would be and what I would represent if I didn't have music. It's almost like I can't live without it, basically. I think that's what a good definition for me is life. Music is life. I, I'm really, really passionate about my, my go through music, and I'm not gonna stop at nothing right now and get where I need to be. I don't care if I don't make any money, as long as I know somebody in the world heard me. My name is Kaipo Kapua. My overall goal is just to be heard worldwide. If loving you is this easy, then it's all I want to do. Keeping myself rooted. All right, it's on the 98.5. Fat Joe here on this Aloha Thursday. Right now, let's bust out some music for my boy, Kaipo, with you. Would you be the way it's hectic? Don't ever let me know. Never leave. 